Hi, Odyssey Camper here. So this happened on my way back from Massachusetts, picked up a roofing nail, and the tire didn't go completely flat, but I thought it was a good opportunity to show you how to fix this without pulling the tire off. I'm kind of fat and lazy, so I don't really want to take the tire off. So I'm gonna use a plug kit and uh, plug this tire, show you how easy it is. I've got my tools ready to do the plug. I'm going to pull out the nail with the pliers and then stick the ream in this is uh, kind of a round file that allows you to ream out the rubber, make it a little uh, uh, scored on the side so that the patch takes. And then this is the patch and the fork tool that's used to push it into the tire. If all goes well, I'll be able to do this without deflating the tire. I can always pump it back up with my uh, diehard battery pack that I always have with me. But um, let's try it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, you'll never see this video. All right, first step, I'm gonna pull this roofing nail and I'm gonna be ready to throw this on the ground and stick the ream in there as soon as I get it out. Helps I'm gonna hold the other tool while you're doing this. Just give that a little couple of pushes to rough up the tire. Stop. <laughs> well, that didn't go the way I thought. I pushed the plug all the way through, so let's try this again. There. So now it's plugged. Now, I'll say one thing about this. I'm using this as a teaching example, but you really shouldn't plug holes that are off the tread. If it's up here, that's a safe zone. Down here is on the sidewall, and that wouldn't be considered a safe plug. I just wanted to do this as a, a way to demonstrate how the plug kit works. This would get you home, it would get you off the highway, and you could add a little air back in the tire if you needed to, go to the gas station. So the last step is to trim that off with a razor blade. Watch your fingers. And that'll hold, and that'll get you down to uh, the tire repair place or get you off the highway fast. So even though I pushed the first plug all the way through, I got this patch done in under five minutes. And if it went right the first time, it would have been even faster. Far quicker than changing the tire um, and a lot safer if you're on a dangerous part of the road. So hopefully that helps. I'll put links down in the bottom to show you where you can get one of these kits. You can buy them at Walmart, but uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. So I'll put an Amazon link and talk to you soon.